Have you ever seen these water reveal books? They're really kind of cool. The pages start out white, but when you add water to the pages, the colors pop out kind of like magic. And check this out. Once the pages have been wet, if you allow it to dry, the colors disappear as the water evaporates. How the heck does this thing work? Well, I did some experiments to try to figure it out. In my first set of experiments, I tried adding liquids other than water to the pages. Of course, water worked, but so did alcohol, hexane, and just about any other liquid I tried. But watch what I saw when I put one of these pages into some liquid nitrogen. I only saw a slight color change. To test if the lack of color was due to the cold temperature of the liquid nitrogen, I took the page dipped in liquid nitrogen while it was still cold and put it in some water. The water still made the colors appear, so there's something about the liquid nitrogen, other than its cold temperature, that keeps the colors from appearing. Investigating further, I found a patent titled Wet Surface Indication. It describes a material that has properties very similar to what I observed in the water reveal pages. This system describes printing colored dyes on a surface and then coating the surface with a polymer. The polymer coating makes it so you can't see the colors printed on the surface. This is because the polymer is porous with a lot of air pockets and the index of refraction of the polymer in the air is different enough that light gets scattered before it can reflect off the colored surface. However, the air pockets get filled with water when it's added. Because the index of refraction of water and the polymer are very close, light doesn't get scattered. In this case, the polymer water interface becomes transparent and the colors beneath can be seen. This is the same effect that's observed in the disappearing beaker experiment where oil is poured into a beaker submerged in vegetable oil. On doing so, it looks like the beaker disappears. This happens because the index of refraction of the oil and the beaker are nearly identical. Now we can understand why ethanol and hexane also develop color in these pages. Both of these liquids have an index of refraction close to that of the polymer, and this allows the transparent effect to occur. On the other hand, the index of refraction of liquid nitrogen is too far from that of the polymer to allow this to happen. I figured I could get the colors to appear permanently if I removed the polymer coating. So I rubbed one of these pages with a Q-tip soaked in acetone. The colors immediately became visible, but that's just because the refractive index of acetone is close to that of the polymer. And of course, the colors disappeared as the acetone evaporated away. But as I continued to rub the same spot, I started to see evidence I was removing some kind of white substance. It was probably the polymer. And sure enough, when I was able to dissolve enough of the polymer away with the acetone, the color on the surface persisted to show through even when the acetone had evaporated. So what do you think? Have I figured out the science of how water reveal books work? Let me know in the comments. Hey, also be sure to let me know any experiments you try with these interesting products. Happy experimenting.